welcome to our church today. So glad you could join us here. Beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. Let's all stand together. We'll sing hymn number three. Holy, holy, holy. Just worship the Lord today. Hope you'll worship the Holy Spirit in this morning. The first, second, last stanza. Holy, holy words on the screen for you there. I'll sing that first. to us. Lord, we just pray for this time that we have to come and worship you. And Father, for each and every home that's represented here, God, we ask a blessing there. And Lord, we ask that you touch our hearts this morning. Feed us according to your precious word. Lord, do, do that holy work that you would desire to do in our hearts and in our lives today. Lord, bring that one back to you that's drawn close, uh, cold and, and away from you. And, and Lord, uh, would you save that sinner uh, that might be here this morning. God, uh, they need you. And Father, we pray according to the hearing of your precious word today that they'll accept Christ as their Lord and Savior. Be with the choirs they minister to us today. Bless each and every one of them. And God, do those things again, we ask, that would be according to your good, your perfect will. And Father, we'll thank you for all that you've done, all that you're going to do. In the precious and holy name of Jesus Christ that we ask. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. <laughs>
song. Stand once more with us. We're going to sing praise him, praise him. Let's all stand together. Hymn number 12 is worship the Lord today. Love these praise songs. Let's sing to him. All three stands on that first. Praise him. Yesterday, 
Uh, Steve and Dee were up there, and I ran into them up there yesterday. She wrote down a list of everybody that's come to see her. She, she almost got 60 names, and she's proud of that. And I appreciate friends and family and a lot of church folks. So she's just all excited, bragging on her church and how much she loves y'all. And, uh, and we thank the Lord for her. And then Miss Lucy's back there this morning. Amen. Amen. Blessing. Amen. Miss Lucy, I'll tell you, she, she's something else. Uh, you, can't, you can't keep a good woman down to this lady right here and to go get her. And uh, we were up there at the hospital, and I came up there the last day, up before the day before she went there, and she's sitting up. They told her she that she could walk around up and down the hallway, and she's preaching and talking to everybody. The nurses was having fun with her, and uh, we talked a lot about it. had a lot of fun with that. But any of the blessing to see God uh, bring her up, put her up on her feet. Miss Lucy, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing, and we praise God for you being back. And uh, Miss Melanie back there, while I'm looking back there, Miss Melanie, we got wind and prayed for you this week and heard about the situation with the cancer and different things. And, uh, and we've told the church, how many of you are going to be praying for Miss Melanie back there? We, we want to let her know that. Miss Melanie, we love you. And we were praying about it Wednesday night. And we want you to know as a church, we're for you, your husband there as well. And we appreciate you folks, you even being here this morning. It's a wonderful testimony. And we... We're so thankful. Praise God for that. And so uh, these folks need our prayers uh, as they recuperate and their bodies heal. And, uh, and we need to ask God to just lead and direct uh, as, they, as they go through treatments and, and some in the hospital and uh, some out and recuperating. Let's pray that God will touch them. Amen. And I know there are many others that we're praying for and uh, folks that are. Uh, Miss Jackie had a fall here last week. He's going to the hospital. She's here today. And, and we just need to pray for one another. Amen. And we ask God to be a, be a blessing to you and hope the Lord will touch you. Amen. And don't forget the big announcement. This Friday night, we've got a big gospel singing right here. Several people coming. Several churches are coming. And uh, we've, we've told of many of them. And we want you to be a part of this and enjoy, enjoy old-fashioned gospel singing Friday night, 7 o'clock. Better come a little early. And by the way, if you want to come early, get your hot dog, or even during the gospel singing, you can do that. We're going to have hot dogs and all the trimmings. Everything's free, no cost, anything. And uh, you're welcome. We do have a sign-up sheet about that. Uh, if you would like to bring uh, some hot dogs, or uh, I think they've, they've got a sheet out there, some chips and some drinks. Any of you that would like to help us with our cooking and the help in the kitchen with that, uh, when the singing starts, we're all going to come in here, and then before, near, during the intermission, and afterwards, we'll have hot dogs for everybody, okay? But we do need some help for Friday night. But you can come early and eat, get your hot dog if you want to, okay? And come and enjoy. This is a summer event, summer, end of the summer thing, and, and we want you to come and enjoy an old-fashioned singing. Get your shout in order. Amen. 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 Get your shout in order. Amen. Bring it with you Friday night. Because hey. I'm already uh, providentially, prophetically going to tell you somebody's going to shout Friday hey. night. Because I'm going to bring my shout with me. And if y'all don't, I'll shout for you. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, man, we're going to have a good time. We want you to come. Amen. And uh, if you're visiting today, we've got visitors today. You make them feel welcome here at New Hope. Amen. We've got folks visiting here today. We're always grateful to have ministers in our church, and we thank you for coming. Hope you'll be a part of us and just get join in and fellowship with us and act like you've known us forever and ever, and we'll act the same way to you. We'll try to anyway and, uh, and make it, give you a warm welcome here in our church, and we thank you for coming. And don't forget, we, we announced already, go ahead and tell you, it'll be a couple weeks out, but uh, the first week in August and the first week in September, our big old-fashioned week is coming the first week in October, and we're going to be taking up an offering for the camp meeting the first week of, of August and the first week of September, and all of the proceeds will go towards that. You'll be hearing a lot more about camp meeting in August. We're going to start building up our supplies <clears throat> the plates and the cups and all the different things. We've got a lot of work to do, and we can start preparing in August for it. It's just two months away. It's hard to believe we're about to walk right out of July. Amen. It's just over with it. And so uh, we'll be talking more about it. And uh, if you haven't been to our meeting on our old fashioned week, you have missed something around here. But uh, we're going to be telling you more about that. 
But uh, we'll take up that love offering for that and goes toward the meeting for the camp meeting expenses, okay? So just pray about it and ask the Lord what you can do and give. And we won't, we're not trying to pressure you. If you can't give, don't worry about it. We're not trying to, we're not trying to pressure anybody. Uh, you might be able to give five dollars. The person beside you might be able to give a hundred dollars. Amen. Guess what? We'll take both of them. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Five dollars go just as far as a hundred dollars. Well, amen. Yeah. Well, we put it all together, and uh, I like it. Praise God. We can. You get just as much the blessing as a person to give more. You will. God will bless you the same way. And we just want you to enjoy it and have a great time. We always have a great time around that week. So, ushers, you come this morning. Let's receive the offering. And we'll, we'll get these. God bless you for coming. I, I, I can't believe how hot it's been getting. But uh, my tomato plants have been <coughs> screaming, screaming, screaming for water. Amen. But uh, I hope your garden's doing okay. And you water them, they'll come out. But you got to stay there and water them all the time, don't you? <laughs> Amen. Oh, right. Brother Brian, you pray for us. So let's bless this offering today as we pray. Lord, we thank you for this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good day. Lord, we thank you for all this good
of work practicing on those streets for songs that they played. One time, as David was talking about receiving the offering for the camp meeting, I remember years ago, as attending Rosa Hills Baptist Church, that this was a Sunday night, understand. For some time, we'd have over a thousand people on Sunday night. But Pastor uh, Ramsey got up and said, we're going to receive the offering. He said, folks, we don't want no folding money. If you put a $50 bill in there, the usher's are going to reach and get it, give it back to you. And all we want is your change. He said, now, ladies, dig down in those purses and get all that change out. He said, I know it's there, and you know it's there, and we want you to give it tonight. <laughs> all right, he took just another minute of talking to give them time to do that. And, folks, we got the largest Sunday night offering <laughs> that night that we have ever got. Hey. Oh, ladies, they like going crazy counties. <laughs> but... Uh, we got a good offering. But uh, anyway, it's good to be in church today. Amen. Folks, do you realize we don't have but about another six weeks of weather, yep. hot weather, until it's going to begin to get cold? Right, brother. If we have that much. Now, I know it's been hot the last several days, but anyway, it won't be hot in July. That's right, amen. But... I don't know about you, but I've had a good summer. Amen. Looking forward for the fall. It's so good to see you today. Amen. And right now, would you stand with me, fellowship together, men and two? We'll continue on. Hey, Mother, God bless you, man. Jesus is the sweetest name I know, and He's just the 
Thank you for the cross. 
Joshua chapter 7 this morning, some familiar ground that you might know of in the Old Testament. And I want to look at a few words here today and let the Lord speak to our hearts about uh, this passage of Scripture here today and really have a burden about it. I want to be a blessing to each and every one of us. And uh, look at verse, let's just look at one verse. We're going to read several other verses, but we're going to read just one verse to start off with. Have a word of prayer. I'm in Joshua chapter 7, verse number 1. Joshua 7, verse number 1. And uh, somebody tell me what the first word is in verse number 1. What's the first word? All right. But, notice the phrase here, this conjunction word, but the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. Notice here now, for Achan, that's a man's name, for Achan, he's the son of Carmi, that's the way I'm going to say it, the son of Zabdi, or Zabdi, however you want to say it, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, Achan, this son here, took of the accursed thing, now notice the phrase here, the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of who? I thought Achan took it. Who's the Lord upset with? Right. Israel. Amen. Look at that. Achan took of the accursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. In other words, one man did in a whole nation. And God took it out on the whole nation. Y'all with me? Let's have a word of prayer. Father, speak to our hearts today. As we've already prayed this morning on our knees. And Lord, we've prayed before church. We've asked God to speak to our hearts and put his hand upon the word of God. I pray with power, Lord, that you'll preach through me today. It's not me, Lord, it's your word. It's not me has nothing to do with man. It has nothing to do with, it has something to do with us, saith the Lord, the Word of God. I pray, Lord, today that you'll help God's people. Help us to be a blessing. Help us to be encouraging. And, Lord, help us to realize that, Lord, we need you in all the things that we do in our lives. We pray that you'll save the lost and we'll give you glory and we'll give you praise today. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. There's a conjunction there, the first word there in verse number 7, because it continues from the thought of chapter number 6. And in chapter number 6, we, we realize that God had wrought a great, wonderful victory at Jericho. The walls came tumbling down. You all know the story. We sing the songs about Jericho and the walls that came tumbling down. I mean... Uh, uh, what you're seeing here is a, a, a group of people that go from a great victory to a great high to what's going to become a quick low. I mean, it's just going to fall real fast. And that's given the inclination here by the first word you see in, in chapter 7, verse number 1. And there's a short trip we see here, we're going to see, between a great victory and a great defeat. Everything had up to this point had been going great. I mean, I mean, they, Israel was victorious. They won the first battle in the, in, in the in coming into Canaan land. And so, as we as ball players would say, they're one and oh, they're undefeated, and uh, everything is wonderful. And uh, what you're going to see is it's going to be a rapid turnaround of events that take place here. As we look at Ai, there's a little town here called the little town of Ai. Ai, Ai is the name of that little town. This little town of Ai is about to defeat Israel. And they just came out of defeating the big walled up city. And a little town like Ai is fixing to defeat them. In other words, they're going to go from a great high to a great low like we've already said. God's people were about to learn that, that only a steady hand can carry a full cup. We're going to see that here in a minute. They're about to learn that the heights can be, a, can be dangerous places. 
And when you get the victory, you better not forget God when you get on the high hill. Amen. Amen. You better not forget God. The pattern came, as we see, the same way to Elijah in Elijah's life. The same pattern came in his life. You remember over in 1 Kings chapter 18 and chapter 19, in one chapter, he's praying the fire down, and the fire did fall. He went against 450 false prophets of Baal there. He himself brought down the power of God through prayer, and the fire fell. And then you see him in the next chapter, and one woman named Jezebel uh, threatens his life, and now he's running for his life, and he's defeated, he's discouraged, he's in despair, and he even tells God that he wants to die. Are y'all with me here now? He goes from a great victory to the fire of God falling to running for his life in the next chapter right there. Well, what we see here, I mean, it's what we would call a shockwave or a roller coaster ride. You ever been on one of them?